factor, linear inequations, ICC. This is for class 10. Now, let me explain you what is the difference between linear equations and linear inequations. Linear inequations may what happen? You won't have an equal to sign, but will have greater than, less than, or greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to signs. Abhi, linear equations में क्या होता है? Linear equations में you used to have a single sign like x is equal to. Linear equation में you will have greater than, less than or equal to or less than or equal to signs. ठीक है? Linear equation और inequation में the main difference is about the sign. Whereas in linear equations, ठीक है? Thus you will have linear equations. Equations में you will have this equal to sign. मतलब यहाँ पे क्यों देते हैं exact value of x, but in in equations you will have all this sign. This means the value over here is x is less than that value. यहाँ पे x is greater than that value. Suppose in case if you have x is less than three, that means x की value is less than three. That can be two, one, zero, minus one and so on. And if we say x is greater than 5 that means x is maybe 6 7 8 and so on right and then you have x is equal to or greater than 3 that means x is 3 4 5 and so on greater than or equal to 3 means 3 is included in that x can be 3 also whereas if you look at this x is less than sorry this is less than or equal to 3 that means it's 3 2 1 and so on whereas over here x is less than 3 that means x is 2 1 0 not 3 यहां पे it will be 3 also and x is greater than if you say 4 that means greater than or equal to 4 that means x is 4 also 5 6 and so on so linear inequation, what we are going to do is like we will see the value of x when it shows whether it is greater than or less than. Rest everything solving part and out is same as the what you do in the linear equations. But here the only difference is about the sign. Clear? So now we are going to see how we are going to solve the sums of linear inequations. Now in linear inequations, you have to solve the sums, show it on the number line, right? You know the number line, have a straight line with arrows only on both the sides. You have 0, and you have on the right hand side, you have 1, 2, 3, and so on. Whereas on the left hand side, you have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and so on. So, you have to what you want to do is like you want to write the answer. Show it on the number line, and then you will have the solution sets where solution sets you are gonna write the answers. Thus, we can say it further as we move on to this chapters. So, we basically main is what you have to remember is like solving the linear equation is same as solving the linear equations. Okay, the only difference over here is about the Science. Right? Let's let's have the example. Same thing you have the addition in this subtraction, multiplication and division. So you have a linear equations where you will have natural number that can be denoted by n. You have whole numbers which you can write it by W. You have integers that you write at z, and you have rational numbers as r. Rational numbers, or you can even call them as r, can be a real number. 
clear so real numbers we will have all rational numbers as well as irrational numbers r a will have real numbers means both rational and irrational numbers clear r will have this integers we you know it that the numbers with positive and negative signs whole number that starts with zero zero one two three four the first whole number is zero then you have one two three and four natural numbers that is one two three four five and four so it starts with natural number starts with one and it goes on all positive numbers are then natural number whole numbers may start with zero you have all the numbers over here all the positive numbers but whole number we have zero integers we have positive and negative numbers clear and real numbers you have both rational and irrational numbers that means you may have the fractions numbers with decimals and all now let's see how we going to solve the linear equations now what's all in the sums you know it will be having addition and subtraction let's take an example for this you have 5x plus 3 that is greater than 18 If you have a number like this, you're gonna do it. You're gonna solve it in the same way. How we solve the linear equation? Now, in in the linear inequations, again, you're gonna what you're gonna find is the value of x. To find the value of x, what is the first step? We have to move this plus three on this side. So once three moves on this side, plus three will change into minus three. Whenever it moves on the other side of the sign, the sign changes. So this will be five x is greater greater than eighteen minus three is fifteen. So x is greater than now this five x means five multiplied by x. Multiply by x means if this five will be move on the other side, it will change into division. That is divide. You cancel this out. You have X is greater than three. That means x can be four, five, and so on. Right? Now let's have one more example for this. Now you have one more example. That is three x minus four is less than or equal to. Linear equations also. Now, after addition and subtraction, we will move on to 